Hey, what is going on guys? Matt here and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to do a free plus uh, shipping book offer. This could be used for a physical product, any physical product. Most of the times uh, that I see it's used for books and also a lot of times folks are a little confused as to how to set this up inside of click funnels so i'm going to show you guys how to set this up in a few different ways so that you can show that your book is free and possibly even add some shipping charges domestic shipping charges uh, international shipping charges and have the two uh, one or two line items and have it show that it's free the, the biggest point of confusion that i see is that click funnels only allows uh for, it does not allow i should say does not allow for a free product so it has to be at least one dollar and it kind of makes for a little bit of confusion so hang tight we're going to go through this and i'm going to show you guys how to make this work does that sound good in the meantime please make sure to like and subscribe i would love to have you guys uh here on board hanging out with me waiting for that next video okay so let's jump right in and i'm going to show you guys how to do this so the number one way to make this happen is just by creating one product inside of your products tab here i'm inside of my free plus shipping book offer which is an order page on uh, click funnels and we are going to just literally just add the product so i'm going to click add product and we're going to name it appropriately so that it becomes so that it is a free plus shipping book offer so i'm going to show you how to do that using stripe and uh, it's a free book but because it has to be at least one dollar um, we are going to give it at least one dollar for this one this is the cleanest way to do this just include the shipping charges in the name of it in the product price so we're going to call it a seven we'll, we'll say it's a seven dollar uh product so it's free but it's seven dollars shipping and then down here you just say it's seven dollars or whatever right so that's it and then uh, what you would do is just come down here click save and close there it is so seven dollars it'll just have a product selector built in okay so i don't have any bump products in there you saw that i only had the one product that's all it is okay so let's get this book uh set up with some shipping charges that's the cleanest way to do it right there that's actually the way that i would recommend keep things simple keep things clean right that's the best way to do it let's go back and do this in a different way but we're this time we're going to use a third-party service called uh, cf pro tools to create a force product so first thing i'm going to do is because we want this to be a free book i'm going to go in and edit this particular product to make sure that we rename this make sure that it is a free book and then i'm going to come down here uh, because it can only be a minute it, it, it has to be at least a minimum of one dollar we're going to name we're actually just going to make this one dollar but we want this to be uh, a seven dollar deal we're going to name it free okay so i did that we named the price the price override will be free and the product is actually one dollar now i'm going to save and close this we're going to go create one more product and that's going to be our flat rate shipping product so let's go to stripe here it's going to be a one-time product and we're going to call this shipping okay because it's a seven dollar product we're going to give this a six dollar charge and then for the price override we want that to read seven so it's the free the book is free the shipping is seven dollars okay go back here we're going to go to cf pro tools all right remember we did that now i've already created a few of these but normally you would just go in and create new um, just for the sake of saving a little bit of time in this creation process i'm going to go into this force product and make sure that that product id is correct and then what we're going to do is take that code and uh, we, what we would do is add that into the footer tracking area section and what we're going to do is add in the uh, i'll come back to this international force products we're going to actually use the force products and then we'll come back to that international force products and add that back in in a second so i can show you how that works all right so first of all that's the code we also needed the order summary so we're going to put that in here normally you guys would just create an order summary and then you would set the configuration so that the free price display reads whatever you want a free item to show so if i wanted to say free book uh you get this for free um or i can in this particular case it just says free um and then i put the product id down here it was a different product id and then we set the price to zero okay you take that zero dollar price whenever you put a zero here that means it's going to show what's over here so 
That's how it should work. We're going to update this add-on so that the code is working correctly. We have the forced product script. So these two scripts together, remember order summary always should always be the first one on your list. And what we're going to do is just click save. And we're going to preview the page. And that's how it would look right there. It says my amazing book is free. That's the only selectable product. And down here you see both line items. It says free and then the shipping it says $7. So if you remember correctly, this one is set to a dollar and this one's set to six dollars and it total tallies up to seven dollars because that's what we told the system to say. So, all right, now what if we were to turn this into a domestic shipping product and then we had an international shipping product? So international, hopefully I spelled that right, shipping. So let's say it was $20, but we don't wanna charge $20 because we already, we wanna charge 19 because why? Because we're charging a dollar uh, for that book. This is what that looks like. So you've got my amazing book, which is free, the domestic shipping, which is seven, and the international shipping, which is uh, 20. Now the actual price charge for each one of these is $1 for the book, $6 for domestic, and for the international, it would be 19. So when you add these up, one of these products is gonna get forced into the cart with the book, and it all adds up to seven or $20. So here's what we're gonna do now. We're gonna go back to CF Pro Tools and we're going to set up the international shipping add-on script. Um, so you will need the uh, order summary, which is already installed and domestic country. I've actually already set this up with US and Canada. And then we set up a domestic country and an international, or I'm sorry, a domestic product and an international product. So depending on what they choose, these particular products will get added. Now, I'm gonna copy the code here. And we're gonna take that over to ClickFunnels, go back to our footer tracking area, and then we're gonna add in the new one, okay? So that's the International Forced Products. Um, we still have the order summary set up, and we have the International Forced Products set up. Now the price display override will take care of most of this for us. We are going to uh, preview the page and uh, see if this works. Okay, so here we are, my amazing book. It says it's free. We're actually going, I actually did not set the country, but it defaulted to uh, the domestic shipping at $7. So let's uh, do this. Let's come back here and pick like Ireland. And then um, I will go to the two step. Um, so it actually switched over to international shipping. So free plus 20. And then if I go and uh, switch it back to uh, like Canada um, and then switch back to the two step, it should go back to domestic here for $7. So that's how it would look. So uh, I think that was pretty clean. I think I, I really like how that, uh, how that worked out. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this and uh, I really hope that you guys learned something new today. If you guys have enjoyed this, uh, please by all means, give us a like. Uh, share this, subscribe, and I will see you guys in another video. Um, if you guys have any questions, please leave a comment down below, and I will be more than happy to answer any questions you guys have, okay? Take care, and I'll see you guys in another video.